Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 121 with me Craig Barton. Now as regular uh, watchers of the Resource of the Week uh, will know every fourth Resource of the Week in this current series I feature a premium resource that's a resource that's for sale on the TES marketplace that's been created by a real life teacher. Now last week I went a bit mental and I splurged £10. My wife has had a word with me so this 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 time I'm back with a £1 outlay for the numeracy workout which has been created by Mr Carter Maths who you may have seen featured earlier on in the year in the Resource of the Week. And this numeracy workout I really really think is fantastic and um, just to put it into a bit of uh, context for you I think I've mentioned before on this series I have a um, bottom set um, year 7 class this year and they really struggle with their numeracy so we've been hammering times tables and I've, I've outlined some of my favorite resources I've used for that earlier on in this resource of the week series um, but also their addition and subtraction they, they particularly struggle with so I'm always on the lookout for resources that might help with that particular thing but also um, I want a resource that's kind of versatile enough that I can use that across year groups because of course numeracy isn't just important for year sevens my year 11s, some of whom are hoping to get A's in the summer, are also a little bit ropey on the numeracy, um, especially when it comes to multiplying decimals together or dividing decimals and so on. So fortunately, this resource, which I initially snapped up for my year 7s, I'm actually using with all year groups. So let's have a look at it. Um, you may be thinking, if it's uh, Mr. Carter Math, prop, is it going to be one of his fancy Excel uh, random generator things? But actually, this is on PowerPoint. And again, it blows my mind the kind of clever ways um, people can use PowerPoint and stuff like that these days. Wait till you see this. So let's have a look at it. It's a single PowerPoint file. It looks like that. Now, I'm going to uh, just blow my screen up to the maximum to make the, uh, the macros work. And you're probably going to need to enable macros when you, you uh, download this. So hopefully you can you can see it all, that's not too bad. So you've got addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. If I click on addition, uh, you'll see you get three levels of questions, bronze, silver and gold. If you don't like those questions, it's just off your screen down here, but there's a button that says new questions. And if you click on that, it'll just generate your new questions. Um, and if you wanna reveal the answers, the next button along says show answers, click that and there are the answers. And if you wanna hide answers and show answers and so on and generate new questions and there you go. Now what What's nice about this is it is hassle free. You can just bang that up on the board and say to the kids, off you go. And perhaps you've decided who are bronze, silver and gold at the start, or better still, perhaps um, the students can kind of choose the level that they work at and maybe you've got a minimum level for each student. Or what I like to do in my year sevens is I say, all right, why don't you try kind of three um, off the bronze? And then why not treat yourself? Just try one off the silver and one off the gold. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong. And it's quite nice, the fact that it's not intimidating. It's not a worksheet in front of them. It's just it's just things that they can try. And then we can have a look at the answers, show answers, hide answers, and so on. And if we click menu, it's a similar thing. We have got subtraction, loads of different ones there with decimals, um, integers combined with decimals. We've got multiplication, which has got your two by two, your three by two, and then we bring some decimals in. And again, all the time, we can show the answers, hide the answers answers and so on and then we've got some lovely division here so the bronze ones always come out with integers the silver ones if we just look at those it's a slightly more long form multiplication but still dividing by single digits and then we get on to place value style work with decimals so tons tons involved there and as I say my, my advice there or the way I found it uh, most useful is at the start of the lesson just bang that up or at any stage in the lesson and just set you set your kids a challenge and say I, I kind of hook them in say like look if you want to do the bronze that's fine if you want to do eight questions of the bronze that's absolutely fine but why not just treat yourself nobody needs to know why not just treat yourself to a silver one and a gold one just to see if you're up to it and the competitive nature of kids naturally kicks in and so on and there's potential um, I guess for doing little kind of games with this you know little puzzle, puzzle games or team games or something three points if you get a gold one right two for a silver one for a bronze and so on loads of stuff and again with the new questions you can just randomly generate as many as you need so there it is I personally believe that was one pound very very well spent there so there it is the numeracy workout if you've used it um, or um, come back on here, leave a little review, say how you've used it, what you thought of it, and so on. And I shall return with a fresh, free resource of the week next week. Take care, and bye for now.